Carty. Um, I want to ask the Taunist uh, about the consultative forum in relation to neutrality. I watched the engagement with uh, Mick Barry earlier, where the Taunist was very worked up, I'd say, at Mick Barry's pointing out the reality that the list of invited speakers gives the game away to an extreme degree. You have one anti-war speaker in the form of Roger Cole and multiple people who are on record as being in favour of joining NATO, have links to NATO themselves and so on. Does this not just give Thank the you. entire Thank game away? Thank you. Thomas. I'm not worked up at all. I just think it's shocking how you, how you guys operate, um, deputies operate in terms of sort of, um, first of all, your intolerance of a wide variety of views of debate. Uh, and I, I, I kind of instinctively felt this is how you were going to approach this. This is a genuine debate. Huge, uh, wide range of speakers with different perspectives. People working in Irish universities. People working at different fora. The first thing you tried to do was attack the chairperson some weeks ago. Um, personalization of this. The old story, let's, let's, let's get the person. Let's undermine the person, the integrity of the person, the international reputation of the person, all for our own political agenda. It is a sickening form of politics that you engage in, Deputy Murphy. I really, I, I find it abhorrent. But a more sinister element behind it is to snuff out debate. You talk about freedom of speech and so on in Tunisia. You're, not, you're, you're nowhere near that. Don't, I'm not suggesting that. But what you are trying to suggest is certain people can't speak because they have a view. That is what you're saying. They should not be allowed to speak. If there's up to 50 or 60 speakers, if one or two have views that a country, one or Deputy two. Murphy and Deputy Pride <laughs> Barrett, then one they should not speak. That is intolerance. You guys are no great advocates of freedom of speech at all. Uh -huh. And I shudder to think of the day when you would ever be an authority. Because by God, would you put a jackboot on people who might have views That's different to yours. Shocking. That's where you guys are That's coming from. I, I, it's, not, it's, it's where can I stand from. Can I ask the T-shirt to withdraw that? I will not withdraw Can, can I ask that to withdraw that? Democracy. I'm asking you right now because in the past there was an issue about not asking for it immediately. He said that if we were in power we'd put the jackboot on people. Uh, yeah. Can I ask That's him to withdraw that comment? comment. Sorry, you chose it. Okay. Now another issue is because the deputy has asked you to withdraw that comment. I'm not withdrawing. Like, we're in a parliament. Mm -hmm. I believe fundamentally in the right of freedom of expression in this parliament. So, okay. uh, sorry, I've witnessed the deputies opposite make all sorts of comments about people. That's okay, we're not going to have a debate. The, 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 